Buki. Um, since I'm apparently doing work for um, the school district right now because I'm interpreting, I'll make sure I, I charge you, okay? All right, I'll email you later, Ma Rai Burki. All right. <laughs> so, um, hello to all school board members and everyone here today. My name is Mai Nia Mo. Next time, make sure you say that correctly. I am a community member of Madison, Wisconsin for over 20 years. I have children that were and previously attend high school in the Madison district. As a mother and an advocate working with the Hmong community, I have seen how police had been involved in schools. The outcome of police in schools has affected the way our children do and behave in schools. I believe that police presence in schools has nothing to do with safety, but to police more and more of our students of color, especially black students, and putting many of our students into the school to prison pipeline. For over a year and a half now, I have seen and heard from many families and youth that they do not want $360,000 to be put into having ERO in schools. We want the $360,000 to be put into better re school resources, such as more people of color counselors, social workers, teachers, black monk, my curriculum, school bus passes, healthy lunch, air-conditioned school, better and new desk, and many more that students need in order to be successful. I am concerned about what you all as school board members have been doing on behalf of all these youth that came, come out to testify in opposition to ERLs in schools. I am concerned because I have read through the report, uh, the recommendations, and none of the things that the youth said was even mentioned. This tells me that you all have not been doing your research and job. This tells me that you are so heartless and only care about your white people, white privilege. This tells me that you are not even trying to listen. This tells me that you don't care at all about the safety of students. This tells me that you all should step down from your position because you are only bringing harm to our people. <laughs> Lastly, I care about where the $360,000 goes because I am a taxpayer and I think that the money should be invested into our children, students of color, because they are our leaders today and will be our future leaders. If you all care like I, how I care, please invest the money into students and not the police, um, not police in schools. My parents did not cross an ocean for someone, Maui, to mispronounce my name. Maui Baraki. Now I make a mistake. When you make a mistake, because apparently you all think that young people make countless mistakes and that they should be there should be consequences for it, right? You just made a mistake. Actually, you made multiple mistakes, and when the young people addressed you and asked you to correct it, you ignored us. How proud you must be to be white. You must do a lot of crocodile tears, too. <laughs> so, I am finally back. I missed, uh, you know, I've been gone for a month and I missed last month's board meeting. I was sad about it, but I think what's even more sad and disappointing is that we're here and we're still talking about the same thing, right? And while I was away, I, I, I had this chance to really just sit and observe and breathe. What a privilege that is. I mean, white people do that every single day. <laughs> um, and I saw and heard a lot of things. One, I heard about ICE coming into town. Um, ICE actually detained one of my acquaintances. Um, I heard about the Kavanaugh case. We were watching it where I was. And I also heard about the incidents at the high schools. And I thought, what could possibly be done? What is needed here? And then earlier I heard, you know, when you all began your meeting, you talked about how every school should be a thriving school. How the fuck are you gonna have a thriving school if you're locking up students? How? And then you, Gloria, wherever you went, 
and whoever knows Gloria can pass this message on to her. How the hell are you going to stand there and talk about ICE and all this shit? But you are here supporting the locking up. The locking up of young people here. And then I'm pretty sure there's a lot of survivors out there, a lot of women, especially a lot of white women, who are probably like, oh my God, the Kavanaugh case, oh my God, oh my goodness, we need to believe in survivors, we need to listen to them. Well, let me tell you something. There's countless survivors here. Police officers, they've assaulted many of these folks that they've arrested. Um, does anybody recall there was also an incident at East High School where a girl was assaulted and there were police officers there and did they do anything? No. Keep looking, Mary. I'm right here. Um, I was looking at the clock because Yes, I know. You can look up. at that. And then there was this call um, uh, earlier. There was somebody up here really talking about how there's this lack of meaningful adult and student relationship. Please finish so, up. So if you really want others. meaningful relationships, then maybe you need to stop investing money in the police and actually invest that money in students. And if you are continuously saying we don't got no resources for our teachers and there's all this layoff and Please all this shit, up. then invest the money in that. Thank you. Please finish up, Bianca. You're next, followed by Mary. Tanifa. I mean, oops. I'm sorry. I pronounced your name correct incorrectly, Marai Borke. Um, <laughs> um, Marai, 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 Marai. We're, we're next gonna, time so when we come gonna, here, uh, you need to respect us. And next we time when we come here, there should be a push to actually get the police officers out. Okay, because again, I want to reiterate what uh, Manka really Lord, said that um, you all keep saying that our young people are acting a fool. Please shut but the here's microphone the thing. off. You can the shut board the will be going into recess. <laughs>